Hi and welcome to Rank Watch. Today we'll be walking you through the main dashboard. So what we'll do is we'll be covering all the areas the digital marketing companies need to take care of on the day-to-day -day business. So as you can see, the dashboard covers all the features in brief. What we'll be doing is covering each of the features in detail as we move along. Firstly, what you'll notice is some data about the project, which includes the Alexa rank of the domain added, the number of pages being indexed by Google, and the number of backlinks as well, plus also the page rank of the website. You will then see a drop down which will show you all the search engines you're tracking for all the specific projects. Then directly below this we'll see a bar graph which will show you the overall health of the project in regards to its rankings. You can see on a daily basis if your keywords are switching rank ranges or possibly your keywords are entering into the top 3 position or dropping out of the top 100 positions. And simply on the right hand side of the bar graph is a donut graph which tells you the number of keywords that are tracking and how many keywords have moved up or down in the previous day. And as you can see below this, RankWatch identifies your keywords into five separate categories. The ones that have had positive impact, negative impact, the projects along with the details of the keywords which have gone up or gone down or stayed the same. Upon clicking here, you'll be able to see the keywords which are ranking across the categories. The positive impact ones are the keywords we've entered page one on the search engines and the negative ones are the ones that have left page one. So again, if you look below you'll see a few of your keywords that we're monitoring. What's here is the current rank, the initial rank and the highest rank that keyword's been in the search engines along with the search volume plus additional results for the keywords i.e. if it's ranking on Google Places, if you've got images ranking for that keyword, it will show that here in the overview. So one of the features we've added here is a webmaster integration. So what this does, it actually hooks up to the platform. So what you can see here is the impressions, the clicks, the click through rates per keyword, and it pulls this straight from your Google account. As you're scrolling down the page, you'll be able to view your competitors. We are trying to help you identify both your organic and paid competitors track the rankings for the people who are looking at the same set of keywords as you but not only that view the ad copies your paid competitors are actually using as well so looking at the next section we've got the hidden opportunities or the low hanging fruit section which we call it which what this is it's the keywords that you're actually ranking for but you're not monitoring them so what we do is we place these here so you can add them to your campaign it really does help diversify your campaign to make sure you're increasing your traffic. You know, the long tail keywords do convert a hell of a lot better than the direct keywords, and they're a lot easier to rank. So we've done this to basically try and make your life a little bit easier. And to finally wrap it up, you've actually got all the analytics data available on this dashboard as well. So there's no need to keep on tuning, throwing from account. You'll be able to view everything from here. As per all the features, at the top right hand corner, this is actually exportable in three formats, CSV, Excel and PDF. So you just simply click on the top, pick your options and you can download it for your discretion. So that's the end of this short tutorial. I'd like to thank you for watching and listening today. If you do have any additional questions, please don't hesitate to contact us on support at rankwatch.com. 